Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. Oh, don't I look great today? I have zero makeup on. Um, how are you? It is Monday, May 8th, and my hair is all of the cray cray, and my weight loss surgery arms aren't those attractive. Anyway, hello! Um, today is Monday, May 8th, 2017. I am right at about 37 months post vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I, um, my highest weight was 402 pounds in January of 2014 when I had surgery on April 16th, 2014. Oh my God, I never thought I would forget my surgery date, but maybe I just have. April 14th, 2014, um, I weighed 360.6 pounds. My lowest weight in this process, which was, um, probably a year ago at the end of this month was like 197 or 98 pounds. My weight last week was 219 or 219.4 or 6, 4, 219.4. My weight today is 217.8. So that's a total of 184 pounds lost and it's a 1.6 pound loss since last week. It is a, um, from a month ago, it would it's like I'm virtually the same. I'm like half a pound difference from where I was a month ago. And I don't have records for this time a year ago because it was when I was traveling in Arkansas and Nashville. Um, but easy to say, I'm a good pound. I'm feeling probably a good 10 pounds heavier than I was a year ago today. So that's where I'm at. Last week I talked about um, just realizing that I could do better at this and that I wanted to talk about not wax poetic about what I'm going to do, um, but talk about what I am doing successfully. So um, here's what I'm doing, what I did successfully this last week. I tracked my food almost every day. Um, and last week was really stressful. My dad got out of the hospital, but just the whole thing around that was pretty stressful to me. And I've taken, it will be a week. I haven't, I didn't go up to LA this weekend. I just needed a break and I uh, won't be going up there again until Wednesday. So it'll be a week since I've been up there and I needed that little bit of a break because I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed. So I was pretty stressed out last week. Um, so I tracked my food. I went back to boot camp with Brandon and, um, yeah, ow, ow, ow. Um, but what it, it showed me a couple things. I did a quick little video on this. One was that it, um, showed me that, um, I had been deluding myself a little bit about fitness, but you know, after I went back the second time, I was like, you know, I have a little bit, but not totally. I mean, I'm not, not anywhere near as sore as I was when I first started, um, working out. And, um, also I can run more further faster than I did um, last time I was with him, but I'm glad to be back. It kicks my ass. I sweat a lot. It pushes me. It is different than when we personally train together. He will be in a situation where we can go back to personal training in June, and I think I'm going to prefer that because I think there are things that were targeted towards my body that I wouldn't be getting in, um, in boot camp. But so uh, when he gets moved over, I will probably switch over to that. I also, I slept through, I did oversleep for boot camp on Saturday. I went Tuesday and Thursday. I overslept on Saturday. Saturday, I was having a kind of shitty day and started to feel really anxious and overwhelmed and decided that I was going to go to the gym and um, get my workout in. So I did that and I started, um, restarted C to 10K. So that was good. I am um, following a more ketogenic lifestyle. Did you hear that? Yeah. I am following a more ketogenic lifestyle. I'm doing keto again, even though I said I wouldn't, but, and I didn't say I wouldn't because it's bad for you or anything. I said I wouldn't because I felt like it screwed me up because I couldn't stay consistent with it. But I have a little, I think I have a little bit of a different attitude about things now than I might have the other two times I've tried it. So it works. I mean, I have been trying, keeping my calories well within control and the scale was not exercising the scale is not budging now that I'm on keto. I've only been on keto since Friday and it's working. So we'll see. I had told Amy to punch me in the face if I said I was going to do keto again, but I'm doing it because it works. And, um, yeah.
that happened. What else am I doing? Well, here's the thing that was interesting. The day that I was most stressed out um, with my dad, I think, was Tuesday. I was coming home. And in the car, it was so funny. I just watched my brain do this little thing. And I talked about this briefly on The Naked Truth last night. But it went from, what can I eat? And it's like I didn't want to sit with my feelings about what was going on and I wanted to distract myself so first it went to what can I eat which after making that video and committing to you guys I wasn't gonna eat you know anything crazy and I don't even want to eat anything crazy really but then it was what can I drink and I was like yeah maybe when I get home I will have, and I think I did have several uh but that was before I was on keto I did have drinks that night when I got home and then it was but I was driving so I wasn't gonna have a drink then obviously and then it went to thinking about um, the guy that I was seeing that I'm not seeing any longer that I, you know, hadn't really been thinking about that much. But that popped into my, but it was just so interesting to me how I went from, you know, distraction, 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 please distract me from what's going on in my head. And so I was proud of myself that on Saturday I chose to, instead of doing, I chose to do something constructive, which was to go to the gym and uh, I always feel better after I do that. So that's really all I got this week. Nothing that exciting. I am, you'll see I'm posting a bunch of the old Naked Truths. I'm kind of trying to update my channel a little bit and get it prettier because I've put out some Naked Truth requests to some more prominent people. And so I want it to be there and looking good when they um, go and check it out. Um... And two shout outs I wanted to give. One is to Wendy Allison, who is having plastics this weekend in Australia. I, she's gonna look, she already looks fucking amazing. So she's gonna look even more amazing. Sending her um, positive thoughts and wishes. And also a shout out to, um, to Scotty. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Scotty, 7.55. Anyway. Um, so that's all I think. Oh, and now my hair is totally falling down. So you get to see my weight loss surgery arms again. Um, anyway, I think that's all I have. I uh, We did Naked Truth on Sunday with Monica Sleeved After 60. You can find it on my channel below if you want to see. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you all for for playing along with my WLS, WLS inspiration. I will pick the top three shortly and we can vote and somebody will win something. Thank you to all those people who uh, said I was their or inspiration. That is very sweet. I don't always feel that way, but I appreciate it when you guys say it. And I have a few more inspiration videos to make too. Um, I may not do it until I have to drive to LA on Wednesday, but I have a couple more. I'm not done. Um, so if you think I, you know, if you think I forgot about you, I didn't, I'm not done. Um, and so I'm not going to do a naked truth this week, but I'm going to try to shoot for twice a month, but I don't know what the schedule will be. And I'm sad I'm not going to WSFA and seeing you guys, but, um, it just wasn't feeling right for me this year. So, um, but I hope you're coming to Obesity Health, which will be here in Long Beach in October, right down the street. And, um, so you will see all of us California people if you come and do that. All right, my friends, you have an amazing week, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.